Hi, my name is Amy Barton. I'm with the Intel Software Network, and I'm here with Sasha Pollenberg, who is an Intel insider, and he's also the founder of netbooknews.com. And he just heard all about the Intel Atom Developer Program here at the Intel Developer Forum. And I just want to ask you, what are you seeing in the market of netbooks? What's going on right now? Well, actually, the market of netbooks really changed so radically in the last, in the last two years since the first netbooks were showing up. And I can tell you right now, well, since due to the uh, huge success of the Intel Atom platform, of course, um, the way that uh, it, it got adopted by, by all these manufacturers, everybody has a netbook now in their portfolio. Mm -hmm. Everybody needs to enter this market right now. Of course, therefore, there's a huge competition going on. Yeah. And I'm based in Taipei, so I can tell you over there, you know. Uh, yeah, what are you seeing in Taipei right now with netbooks? Oh, well, um, like July was actually the first month uh, in the history of uh, IT production in, in, in Taiwan, where they sold more netbooks than notebooks. So when you're going over uh, into a Starbucks in Taipei, you would see 80% you know, people are using a netbook. And they're using their netbooks everywhere, which tells me a lot about the usage scenario of a netbook too, because it's a really, I mean, in my opinion, it's the first real personal computer. Mm -hmm. it's, I mean, it's small. Here's my little NC10 that I'm always carrying with me. It's a little bit worn out already. But, you know, it survived a year with uh, me, so it can definitely survive four years with you guys. And that's traveling around the world. Yeah, going exactly. Yeah. And um, so the usage scenario of a netbook <laughs> is like people always always can grab their netbooks when they're going out, uh, out and they can do mobile computing um, with uh, eight hours of battery life, right? That's, that's all day computing. Mm -hmm. um, they want to get to the internet, right? And that's why you can see it everywhere on the streets. People are sitting down in the parks and they're having a netbook. You know, they don't yeah. use a 17-inch notebook or something. Yeah, you don't have to so, lug it around. It's yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. And so the, the market changed, uh, in my opinion, so radically. Like we got the first EPC generation, like in 2007, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and right now we can see, even when people are telling me, "Hey, network is so cheap, mm -hmm. right? And how about build quality?" It changed completely. Mm -hmm. Right how now so? you can see awesome uh, 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 manufactured and uh, built devices. Like uh, Sony is coming up with some pretty cool netbooks, right? With aluminum cases and nice shaped keyboards, Toshiba, right? And uh, so it, it it changed a lot over the last two years, and it's it's addressing, in my opinion, a huge market. It's the only it's the only product that is uh, um, making growth rates on the IT market at the moment. I think with all netbooks, it would be a little bit half yeah. at the moment. So it's a huge opportunity for developers and for software developers to start thinking about developing applications for netbooks and all these new usage models. So what do you think about the Atom Developer Program that we just announced? Well, what, what you guys announced yesterday is definitely something that is highly appreciated also by the manufacturers because mm -hmm. uh, actually they can't really make money with netbooks. The margin is very, very low. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so uh, their business model needs to change. So what, what can you do? How can you make uh, additional uh, uh, how can you make additional money with it? Uh, how, how to monetize it? You need to build some ecosystems mm -hmm. around a network. And I think the smartphone market already told us and taught us mm -hmm. what you can do, how you can monetize a new product. So uh, having right now a kind of central app store that you guys are, are going to launch soon um, is definitely fantastic. It's not only for manufacturers that uh, um, can take advantage of this, but also for developers, mm -hmm. of course. Mm -hmm. I mean, all these developers that are uh, um, writing code right now for iPhones or Android, you know, they can also easily do something for netbooks because uh, when we're taking a look, like 30 million iPhones got sold in the last two years, mm -hmm. and about by the end of the year we have 45 million netbooks on the market. Yeah. So that's a huge market and a huge opportunity for like single developers that are sitting right now in front of their desk, right, looking uh -huh. for a new opportunity, new market. Uh, I think um, that's completely new. We would see completely different applications on a netbook mm -hmm. compared to an iPhone because it just has m way more opportunities and possibilities how to use this device. Yeah, so it's a really good opportunity at appstore.intel.com, so appdeveloper.intel.com. Exactly. So any other final thoughts of what you've learned here at the Developer Forum? Um, I was very surprised in the way Intel changed in the last two years when I saw Paul's keynote mm -hmm. yesterday. And 70% of the keynote content was based on the Intel Atom platform. I could never think of anything like this like 12 months ago. Uh -huh. So it really changed not only the market, it, not only the way we're doing mobile computing right now, 
it also changed into a lot. Mm -hmm. And I, well, it's highly appreciated on the stuff because, you know, when you guys are happy, you know, I'm, I'm happy with my side. I will always have content. And That's therefore, good. you know, I really appreciate it. Yeah. Well, great. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Amy. Thanks.